Dr. Andrea Schnowski from Freedom Chiropractic and Holistic Health and also our YouTube channel, Health and Horsepower. I am here today because I want to talk to you a little bit more about why you should forget about dieting altogether, get rid of it, and focus on having a healthy lifestyle instead. And here's why. When you go on a diet, you're completely changing the whole entire way you eat food, what you like, what your preferences are, and you're trying to stick with it. But the reality is dieting is a short-term solution. As you're dieting and changing your habits, um, as you're dieting and changing what you're eating, you may be focusing on eating a different macronutrient blend, so getting maybe a low-carb diet or a high-protein diet. Um, but the reality is when it comes to dieting, it's meant to be short-term. So when you're dieting, you are going to be sticking with that diet as long as you can to get results. The problem is a lot of times when we're drastically changing how we're eating, as soon as we get off of the diet, all the weight comes back because we didn't change our habits. We didn't change or support and kind of work with our body to change our metabolism, to change how we process foods, to change what we're aiming for when we're not dieting. So when it comes to dieting, you're really, it's going to be a temporary thing. You're going to have to cheat on it to eat things that are favorites, to eat things that you're craving that day. Or even if you have, say, a celebration like a birthday party, you're going to have to cheat on that diet to be able to have a piece of cake or some ice cream on somebody's birthday or your own birthday because you have not getting, gotten flexibility out of that dieting program. So really when it comes down to it, diets are short term. They're not sustainable. They're not long term. And therefore, you're not going to get long-term results to maintain any weight loss or body changes that you've had while you were dieting. So the best way to really look at how to change our lifestyle and get rid of that results that are long-lasting is going to be that if you embrace long-term change and change things in a baby step fashion, and over time, you're changing your habits, you're changing how your body's working, you're supporting your body's metabolism rather than starving yourself to death. Because when you are giving yourself lifestyle changes, you have the ability to be flexible. So on your birthday, you can have cake. Um, when you have a wedding or a holiday, you're not afraid to visit the dessert table or have one of your favorite dishes that only come around a couple times a year. There's flexibility when it comes to lifestyle change because you are making small changes over time. And that's going to help to make sure that that is something you can do for the long term and keep up with and change forever, not just while you're dieting. So I have a couple different things I want to talk about with that. So there's kind of four points that I like to make when it comes to healthy lifestyle change. So there is something called an 80-20 rule. That means that 80% of the time you are eating as healthy as possible and you are sticking with a macronutrient blend. So say you have plenty of protein, you're also focusing on fruits and vegetables and focusing on healthy fats. I may try to minimize sugar intake or minimize processed foods as much as you can. Well, the other 20% of the time is flexibility or cheat days, as we might call them. Basically, that ensures that you have flexibility. So if there's a day or an occasion or a holiday, you are free to eat what you want and you don't have to beat yourself up about it. You don't have to feel guilty. You don't have to fall off your diet and never get back on it again because you have flexibility built in automatically. So 80% of the time, you are eating healthy and trying to maintain healthy habits as much as you can. And 20% of the time, you have some flexibility to make maybe some not healthy choices or do something outside of the ordinary if the occasion calls for it. Number two thing that I want to mention is that when it comes to making healthy lifestyle changes, you are trying to make small change over time, make more small changes over time so that you have big change at the end, but we're not making drastic changes at the beginning. Because if you make too many big changes, you're never going to be able to keep up with it. You're going to fall flat. You're going to feel guilty. And then you're going to fall off and not be able to maintain that. So one rule that I have when it comes to making healthy lifestyle changes, you only want to do three things at a time. So say, for example, you know, I need to drink more water. Well, guess what? One of your first goals is going to be set a goal for water intake through the day. Say you want to exercise more, but you don't even do anything at home. You don't go for walks. You don't go to the gym, nothing. You may set a goal like, oh, I want to go to the gym every single day of the week. Well, you can't start there. So what I would recommend is maybe starting with going for a walk three days a week for 20 to 30 minutes, or maybe set a length of time. So say you want to go for a half mile or a mile that you're going to walk three times a week in a time period. 
That way, as you start to get that activity and okay, great, I've got that down now, I can actually maybe add in a workout for one of those instead of just walking. Or maybe I can go to the gym for that time period. Rather than trying to go from no exercise at all to at the gym for hours, seven days a week. That's just not sustainable. Number three thing I already mentioned a little bit is flexibility. So when it comes down to it, the 80-20 rule, you want to give yourself some flexibility. If you're going on vacation, if you have a holiday coming up, if you have a birthday or a special occasion, you want to be able to give yourself flexibility to do what you want, need, desire during that time period. But then when it's over, you have to get back on track with everything that you've made already. So if you focus on healthy eating or water intake or exercise, and you go out of town and kind of got off of your rhythm or your routine, when you get back to town, okay, now we need to get back in the routine. So you might need to start slow. So rather than like say maybe you were doing five days a week at the gym, maybe start with two days a week or three days a week and then build up so that you're not going from, again, nothing to everything because it's not sustainable. And then the number four thing is learning how to maintain. So again, when it comes to lifestyle change, we're making small changes that we can build upon, add more change, do them, embrace them, okay, add more change, do them, embrace them, and you're taking baby steps in the right direction so that you can maintain those changes for the long term so you get long term results. If you have more questions, please feel free to comment down below or shoot me a message and I would be more than happy to talk to you a little bit more about that. I know for some people that are trying to make healthy lifestyle choices, it's very hard and disheartening in the beginning if you don't see results. So I have a lot of patients that start with doing a consultation, talking about what they're eating, what they're drinking, what their diet and what their kind of workout program looks like, starting with body composition measurements. So we can actually take measurements of your body to see where you're at. And then as they start embracing that change, we can do more body composition measurements, say once a month to see your progress over time, to see how many inches you've lost, to see if you're actually losing fat and not losing muscle mass, but also going to give you some encouragement when you're not seeing results in the beginning, because it does take time when we're doing more of those long-term lifestyle changes. So again, have a great rest of your week, and I will see you next time.